Okay, suppose that three consecutive numbers add up to 105. We want to know which equation would best help us find those three numbers. So answer choice A says we have x plus the quantity x plus 1 plus the quantity x plus 2 equals 105. B says we have x plus the quantity x plus 2 plus the quantity x plus 4 equals 105. Answer choice C is x plus x squared plus x to the third equals 105. And lastly, answer choice D is 3 times x equals 105. So this is just one of those problems, you know, if you're not used to doing these sort of problems, it's like, you know, maybe all three of the, or all four of those choices seem kind of, you know, where is this coming from? But the idea is, okay, maybe we have to find those. Again, we don't know, you know, we don't know what the, the numbers are. So let's call the first number, let's call the smallest number x. Okay, right? That's the variable we use for everything. So our first number would be x. Well, if I want to get to the next number, you know, after x, well, what do you do to, to get to the next number after x? Well, we just add 1 to it, right? So, for example, if x was 5, 5 plus 1 would be 6. That would give you the next number. So generically, x plus 1 is going to be the number after x. Well, to get to the number after x plus 1, you would have to add 1 to that number. So the previous numbers x plus 1, we'll have to add 1 to that one as well. So our three numbers, we can label them as x, x plus 1. Well, x plus 1 plus 1 is going to give us x plus 2. And now, since we're adding them up, we would just have x plus the next number, x plus 1 plus the next number, x plus 2, and we want to add those numbers up and get the value 105. So to me it looks like for sure that answer choice A was our, was our correct choice in this case. Notice B, you're going from x to x plus 2 to x plus 4. In that case, to me, it looks like you're, you know, you're adding up either odd numbers or even numbers, right? So you're kind of going to you're starting with some number, you go two after it, and then another two after that one. So part B would be the type of solution you would get maybe if you were adding up, for example, odd numbers. It's going to have to be odd if it's going to add up to 105. That's why I'm saying odd. Part C is just, well, that really, I don't know what this is. It's not doing anything. You know, by squaring the number and cubing the number, that's not at all what we're doing. And part D says, well, you know, you're just taking three times some particular number to get 105. And that has nothing, doesn't address the situation where we're adding up those consecutive numbers.